Welcome back to the Hidden Wall curriculum. This short video will introduce you to lesson two of the biology lessons, which focuses on ecological succession. Particularly, we are focusing on the standard L17.4, which asks students to describe changes in ecosystems that result from seasonal variation, climate change, and succession. There are also several knowledge nature of science benchmarks included in this lesson, including N4.1, scientific knowledge and reasoning, and weighing the merits of alternative strategies for solving a specific problem. In this particular lesson, students will identify and describe specific ways that disturbances impact Florida ecosystems. We've provided a line science vocabulary and academic vocabulary that you'll want to focus on throughout the lesson. There are also inquiry questions to guide your instruction, a statement of student mastery, and a lesson summary on the front page. The lesson begins with the Engage portion, with the Hidden Wild Chapter 2 movie. This movie focuses on the students experiencing live a prescribed burn right here in Palm Beach County. Your students should find this extremely engaging and it will generate lots of questions. After students have watched the video, you'll pass out, you'll either use the handout for inside outside circles or you can use the slide deck. Either one is fine. There's a, a link here to a video showing you how to do the inside outside circles activity if you've never done it before. Students will participate in the inside outside circles by discussing, discussing specific points from the video clip <clears throat> and their first impressions of what they saw. After the video, students will move to the explore portion of the lesson. You'll pass out the succession cards, which look like this. Then, You'll use the following card sort to practice organizing the steps of ecological succession. So teachers, you'll need to make sure you print these and cut them out prior to beginning the lesson. Students can work in groups or pairs to pair the images of primary and secondary succession with the correct description and put them in the right chronological order. <clears throat> You want to make sure that you are listening and monitoring group progress. And you'll want to listen to student conversations for comprehension and any misconceptions that they may have. The third part of the lesson is the explain portion. In this part, students will dig into succession and do a little bit of independent research. There's a reading and a series of questions that they'll answer as independently. You'll want to make sure that you have enough copies for each student, or if you're doing this digitally, you'll want to make sure you post it in your Google Classroom or your learning management system for your school. You'll want to encourage students as they complete the reflection to think about the card sort activity they completed and make those connections. You'll want to have a whole group discussion to discuss those reflections. The fourth portion of the lesson is the elaborate. In this portion, students will be researching various environmental stakeholders and scenarios that they may encounter. The teacher will pass out the stakeholder roles and students will start their research. They will learn what a stakeholder is and how they are, they are involved with or affected by environmental management decisions and policies. Students will be assigned a specific role and complete the research handout. Before the lesson, you'll, you may want to review what a stakeholder is by looking at pages 5 and 6 of the Stakeholder Analysis Environmental Guide. They'll complete their research independently, but then you'll put them in groups with other students that have the same stakeholder assignment to compare notes and improve their research. In the final portion of this lesson, students will assume the role of a stakeholder and work together to create a PR campaign that explain, explains 
the pros, cons, and potential outcomes of an environmental management scenario that is specific to their community. We suggest using Adobe Spark to create their final product. And we've provided a handout showing several environmental management campaign scenarios you may use, or you could use one from your own community. And an example of, some of the scenarios and some potential questions each stakeholder may have to guide your students in developing their PR campaign. Each group will have at least one of each stakeholder and they will complete the PR campaign as a group. You might want to discuss what a PR campaign is and why multiple points of view are necessary. Allow groups to explain their stakeholder role to the group and research the issue in the scenario. You may need to guide your students to quality resources if, they, if needed. You will evaluate your students on their PR campaign and how well they explain the scenario and the impacts and involvement of each of the stakeholders within that campaign. We hope you enjoy implementing this lesson in your classroom. These are the sources of data used for this lesson and we hope you are able to enjoy them and expand upon them for future lessons.